What is going on YouTube? Thrift School over here. Looking at the camera, I'm a little sunburnt from being out in the sun all day. Holy moly. Uh, I cannot believe this stuff is selling. I have so many things that I've been listing on eBay and Amazon that I want to show you guys. Stuff that's just selling like crazy that I didn't believe it. I know you all want an update. So let me show you, uh, refresher course, some of the things that I bought recently and show you guys how well this kind of stuff is selling for me. Uh, maybe you'll find a lot like this or items like this and you want to sell them on Amazon or eBay depending on where you'd like to sell. I sell on both platforms and I do pretty darn well on both of them. So I always tell people, hey, so if you're only selling on eBay, sell on Amazon. If you're only selling on Amazon, sell on eBay. I like to sell on both. But let me show you real quick. All right, so it looks like a mess, and it is a mess, but I have a whole bunch of CDs over here, and these have been sitting here. I haven't even messed with these in probably close to a week. They've literally been sitting there like that for about a week, but these I have been working on. You can see a bunch of empty spaces there, 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 there. So these are little lots that I've been taking out, listing up on eBay, Amazon, uh, putting them in lots and selling them at auction and sending them into Amazon. You can see this entire box is empty. This was filled with regular CDs. Every single one that was worth it in this box has been shipped off to Amazon. We're talking over 250 CDs into Amazon from this one box. Now, I'm going to show you guys right up here on the screen some of the things that are selling. The first item I wanted to show you guys is this lot of CDs that I sold via auction on eBay for $25. Now, I spent $300 on every CD you see here, plus some that have been sent into Amazon. But this one sold for $25 just for a few CDs. I believe it's seven sold for $25 guys pretty awesome find now that lot is one of many that I have and that I can make so that is a lot of these rock CDs that I picked up and these are all different jukebox slash professional disc jockey DJ CDs and that lot is from the 90s one through seven and so I have 95 96 97 all the way up to 2007 multiple lots of each so i've listed a few on ebay as you guys can see right here not as auction but as buy it now at 30 bucks 35 dollars i can't remember but you guys can see and uh they're not selling but the one that i set to auction at 25 sold maybe i'm just pricing the other ones too high or maybe auction is the way to go i don't know so that's why i'm testing this out but I've also been selling these things on Amazon. If you take a look right over here, you guys can see some of these CDs that are selling. We have some that are great selling, you know, $15 and up, which means I'm profiting about seven to $10 somewhere in that range per disc. But then we have some that aren't selling super great they're still selling fast but they're going for as you guys can see six seven dollars these are things that bread and butter i'm making about two dollars maybe a little bit less a buck fifty um now a lot of people will mention in the comments and i know it why are you selling things that are only worth a dollar well i do that because as you guys saw i have hundreds well i actually have thousands of these discs to sell thousands so if i sold each one of these for one dollar profit i would make two three thousand dollars so i don't mind selling a few of them at one to two dollar profit when i have a bunch others selling for ten to twenty dollars which you guys can see again here's another one that sold for you know fifteen dollars or up these are cds that came out of this lot and now I posted a video asking you guys if you thought this was a bad buy and I had a lot of people say yeah this was a pretty bad buy well I really don't think so I have only been listing and selling these items for about one week and 
I don't have the exact numbers in front of you guys, but what you can see on the screen, things that are selling, this isn't everything. I've sold a bunch other, you know, six, seven dollar ones, ones where I'm only gonna make a buck fifty to two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, you know, those will pad everything out in the long run, but I've probably made close to $100 right now. Uh, definitely a little bit less, maybe more like $75 right now, and it's been one week. I spent $300. As you guys can see, I haven't even made a dent. This is not even a dent in what I have and what I am able to sell. It It's insane how many there are here. Look at that. Bim, 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 bim. They just keep going. There's so many of them. And then the ones that aren't worth it for me to sell online, I lot up in lots of 100. And I sell them for about $17, so I'm profiting about 10 bucks. So if I'm able to make a few lots of 100 here, that could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. If I can make five lots of all different CDs, that can add up to you know, 100, $200 just in lots of a hundred a piece. So there is definitely a lot of money to be made here. It is work though, so that's the thing. I'm willing to put in the time and the effort and the work. Um, I don't know, it's just something to do, right? So obviously there's other ways to make money, sometimes better ways to make money. I've done so many different ways to make money, this is just something else that I'm doing, something else that I'm in the process of, and I enjoy doing it. I get to hang out out here and just work, which I can't complain. I, I honestly like it. Now, veering away from the CDs, you guys can see right here, I actually sold one of those baseball bats. So I bought a whole bunch of baseball bats from one garage sale and I spent two bucks, a little less than $2 a piece on these. We're talking about a buck 50, a buck 75 a piece on these. So I have almost nothing into them. Shipping costs anywhere between eight and $15, somewhere around there. This one that sold only cost me about eight bucks. Now I only sold it for I believe 22, but I still made decent money on it. It's really not that bad to ship them out. Uh, they don't take up too much space, but they do sit uh, downstairs in just a pile up against the wall, right? I don't mind buying baseball bats. I just started this year, and I find it to be worth worth the while. I mean, really, it's not too bad. I did do a video. I didn't do a video, but I did show you guys that I'm cleaning them. And I had a question asking, how do I clean these baseball bats? What am I using? All I do is spray a little bit of... Uh, cleaning product, whether it's Lysol or whatever cleaning product you have, onto a paper towel. I wipe it all over the bat, and then I use a magic eraser, which all the things that I use in my business, including these magic erasers, are linked down below. They're affiliate links, they help me out, and uh, they help you guys out, but I get a small commission off of each thing. But these are all items that I actually use when I'm working online. So whether it's my disc cleaner, whether it's my bubble wrap or poly mailers, things like that, uh, I do list that all down below for people to take a look at and see, oh, maybe I wanna use that or I wanna use this. So check those out if you want to, but these magic erasers, they work great. I'm able to pull off all the you know, scratches and marks that using a baseball bat on a dirt field will do. And I'm able to sell it for a little bit more than what other people are selling their bats for. So that does help me in the long run. Now, with this lot of CDs that I bought came a whole bunch of empty disc holders, what are, cases, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for, cases. Uh, there's a bunch there, bunch here, bunch here, bunch there, bunch there. These are all completely empty. Now, I've had people ask me if I thought about just selling these. Uh, shipping them off online, you're gonna make next to nothing on them. I already have hundreds of CD and DVD cases that aren't even shown here that are empty that I use for, you know, cases that are broken, things that I wanna sell online and make them look a little bit nicer. So I don't really have that much of a need for these. What do you guys think I should do with these? Should I sell them via locally, maybe offer up Facebook Marketplace, um, it, huge boxes for, I don't know, 20 bucks? I, I don't know. What what do you guys think I should do to try and get rid of this? If I were to sell each one of these boxes for 20 bucks, looking at 40, 
80, $100 right here in blank CD cases. Now that's definitely cheap because we have a whole bunch right here. Now I don't just sell CDs and random garage sale finds on eBay and Amazon. I do retail arbitrage, online arbitrage. Of course I thrift. I pick up deals on local marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up, Let Go, Craigslist still, even though Craigslist is kind of eh nowadays. Uh, around me, the two best options for picking things up locally, Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up. Those two are the best. That's where I find a lot of my inventory locally, and I'm able to just, you know, go out, buy it with cash. Sometimes I'll flip it locally again, or I'll just throw it right up on eBay. That's another thing I do. I buy from eBay, sell on eBay. Buy from eBay, sell on Amazon. There are so many opportunities out there, guys. Here is another thing I sold on Amazon. These are toner cartridges that I picked up over at Walmart that was clearancing them down to $10 each. I'm flipping them for 60 a pop over on Amazon. So there are so many other ways to make money, guys. It's not just these little flips with CDs. There's bigger flips. And of course, I have so many flips where I've made one, two, three, four hundred dollars per item but those come very rarely, to be honest. You're not gonna be finding those every single day. Uh, there's probably a bunch of things where you could spend 50 to 75, sell it for 125 to 150, and profit 50 bucks. Yeah, those are there. Everything is out there, guys. Check your thrift stores, check your pawn shops, check locally. I can't believe that I'm able to sell all of these random things to people online. People are buying them. Uh, eBay is booming, Amazon is booming, guys. This is just a reminder that you can sell anything online. It is insane, some of the things I've sold online in the five plus years that I've been doing this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.